this is for it's coming at you once again from my kitchen. Currently Project Frost in 2015 is well underway. In fact it is at this point about half over. I wanted to share this recipe with everyone because, well, even though it's entertaining to watch people eat jarred, herring, disgusting cookies and whipped cream, the rest of us have to think about putting something a little bit tastier into us. So here's what you're gonna need. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, put the granola and coconut in the biggest mixing bowl you have. The sunflower kernels you can simply add to the bowl, but the cashews and almonds first need to be crushed. I never loved you and you're not good enough for me. That ought to do it. Now you can add them to the bowl. Mix together all the dry ingredients. Now you're ready for your moist ingredients. Add the raisins. Add the craisins. Now I have whole pitted dates, so I need to make sure that these are diced pretty well. Now add the diced dates. Now it's time for what is called the binder. In a one cup liquid measuring cup, add the honey, oil, and almond butter. And why almond butter, you may ask, is because some people go an entire lifetime eating peanuts, especially things like Snickers bar, and then when they hit their middle ages, they have what are called late onset allergies that mess up a lot of things. Stir until this is thoroughly mixed. Now you're gonna wind up with something that looks and kind of has a consistency of thin applesauce. And what you wanna do now is you wanna spread this on toast. Oh. No, actually, now you're gonna add this. To your mixture. Stir all ingredients together until everything is coated with the binder. It takes about two minutes. Transfer your mixture onto a cookie sheet covered with parchment paper or foil. Spread until it is evenly distributed across the sheet. And into the oven it goes. You want to let this cook for four minutes. When the four minutes are up, temporarily remove the cookie sheet. Stir up the mixture, then distribute it evenly again. This is gonna go back into the oven for another four minutes. After that four minutes up, you do wanna stir it up just a teensy bit again, and lay it out flat again. Transfer the parchment paper onto a cutting board and allow it to cool 10 to 15 minutes. Mm, 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 mm-hmm. When it first comes out of the oven before it cools down, it is gonna be loose and kinda of crumbly. But what's gonna happen is when it cools down, that binder is gonna harden a bit and it's gonna stick together into a bunch of small clumps and there will be crumbly parts. It's not granola bars, it's granola. So it is for the most part gonna be fairly loose. But it's good for a snack. You could put it in a bowl, add some milk to it. You can eat it as cereal. So that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. I look forward to seeing you next time and TNBGO, oh no, excuse me, DFTBA.